Hi everyone and welcome to Ultimate Exercise Ball Class. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so right now. It means a lot to us. If for some reason you really like our channel, maybe share with a friend. Before we get started, please make sure you've done the Core Maximus warm up. Last thing we want is an injury. Then I have hand weights today, entirely up to you. Beginners, maybe we don't use any. I have tens, intermediate, advanced, maybe we would like some. My ball and a wall. I have my timer. I'm going to work through six exercises with you, one minute each, and intermediate advanced, you'll repeat the workout two or three times. Perfect. Let's get started. First one, squat, chair squat. So our feet are going to be a little bit closer together with or without your hand weights. Okay, trusty little stopwatch, maybe. There we go. Fix your microphone. And best part is typically watching people try to get up at the wall with the ball and their weight. So I'll give you a second to get set here. And as I said, chair squat. So my feet are about hip width apart instead of shoulder width apart today. And then from here, I walk my feet forward so I'm leaning into the ball. Shoulders back, chest out. We're going to sit into this, dig through heels, tall push. So I've not added my arms on this. Focusing on leg strength, you control the down, control the up, shoulders back, hands relaxed, chest out, eyes up. Make sure you're breathing. And if I'm really focused, I'd like you to have the ball roll straight up your spine and straight down your spine. And my hips, be mindful of hips. In this bottom position, you guys keep going, spot check. Shoulders in line with hips. So we want that straight line. I don't want our hips following the ball or us hinging them forward. Straight down, knees in line with heels. Push through heels, stand tall. We're almost there. Beginners, maybe we don't hit 90. Maybe we only go down a few inches. Push through heels, stand tall. Perfect, come on down for me. Okay, next one are close push-ups. Some people might call them tricep press-ups. So in this position here, you can have the ball at the wall or down at the floor in the wall. Okay, we have a minute here. Fingers, we're pushing the ball into the wall. Your wrist can be turned out slightly. Feet wider makes this easier. Feet closer together makes this harder. Tummy tight, strong through tummy and back. Inhale down, exhale strong up. See how I'm pushing the ball into the wall? I'm using the wall to help me with balance. Keep going. Beginners, or even my intermediates, or if you feel like it, you can go in a corner. That will add some stability to the exercise as well. Inhale, exhale. So I'm offering you a suggestion here on the breath. If you are going, I already have enough to think about. I'm gonna breathe when I wanna breathe. Breathe when you wanna breathe. Belly button in. No pressure in that low back. We're trying to keep our elbows close to us on this push up. So as I come down, whether it's an inch, whether I'm chest towards ball, I'm thinking of my elbows brushing my rib cage, brushing my side. Almost there, eight seconds left. Inhale and exhale. One more and strong push, so good. Next one, side sit-ups. I'm grabbing a weight, trying to be motivational. You don't have to, okay. So side sit-ups, feet are at the wall. Top leg, back, hips. We're not on top of the ball, we're not on the side, we're somewhere in the middle. That weight is going to go near your top shoulder. That'll help pull that elbow out of the way. From here, I'm coming down over the ball, hips stacked, shoulders stacked, pull strong up. Keep going. Knees stay bent. If for any reason you don't feel overly comfortable that the ball is going to stay right here where it's supposed to. Use your hand to gently guide you. I'm not pushing, it's guiding to make me feel more comfortable. If you already feel comfortable, 
that bottom arm tucks in, hand goes near top shoulder, maybe you're holding weight, nice strong over, nice strong up, hips stay stacked, shoulders stay stacked. The thought is, there's a wall in front of me and there's a wall behind me. So I need to come straight over the ball. I keep my hips completely still as I pull myself back up strong, keeping knees bent. Eight seconds. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Last one. And show me your back. Okay, here we go. Side, opposite direction. So let's take a second to get settled. We are going top leg back, bottom leg forward. I'm not on top of the ball, I'm not on the side, I'm somewhere in the middle. My bottom arm comes up towards my top shoulder. I stick out my chest a tiny little bit and I hinge over the ball, strong pull up. All right, one side is going to feel more natural, more comfortable, especially if you've just started working out with me. Once you've worked out with me for a while, this will naturally just start feeling almost enjoyable, if I dare say so myself. Um, it might be one of the exercises you look forward to doing. At first, might feel very unnatural and un unusual on the ball. I promise, if we keep at her, if we keep practicing, you will grow to love this one. Almost there. Love might be a strong word. Five seconds. I've got one left, one left. And perfect, okay. Next is Back extension. So back extension at the wall. Feet are going to come at the wall. My hips are going to come onto the ball. From here, getting into position might be a little tricky, but once you get it, you'll be good. Legs are wide, knees are bent. Again, if you feel uncomfortable, place your hands just lightly on the front of the ball. Come to that full forward fold, stretch out. Exhale, come on up. All right, if you've done this with me for a while, keep going. My beginners, shoulders and hips are in a straight line, so my tummy comes off of the ball. I'm hinging from my hips. So hands on hips, and when you lift up, you wanna be lifting from where your hands are. You should be able to take a full inhale and our full exhale. Again, come to full rest for all my participants. Exhale strong, shoulders, hips, nice straight line, heads in neutral. I'm not looking up and I'm not looking down. Neck is an extension of my spine. So I wanna be nice and tall, nice and long. Last one and up. Okay, I just kissed my ball. <laughs> Next one. I'm grabbing weights. If you wanna go a little bit lighter on this, you absolutely can. Be mindful of how your back is feeling, especially if you're into second and third round. All right, from here, I'm coming for a back extension with a close grip row. Keep those knees bent, lock those feet into the wall. So I'm going to hinge up from my hips, elbows brush my side, arms come down, and I'm up and I'm over into my rest position. Hinge from hips, strong through my row. Palms face in, shoulders away from ears, control the down, Control the down. Glue those feet into the wall. Don't forget to breathe. <sighs> Row, control the down. And all the other things we just talked about still apply. I'm hinging from my hips, tummies off the ball, shoulders away from ears, heads in neutral. My legs are bent and I come into that full forward fold. Time check, 15 seconds. Inhale, exhale strong up. Control on the down, and probably one more. Up, row, control on the down, and over. All right, if you're done for today, I'm going to do this with you. We're going to come over our ball. Hands can come onto the floor, and we're going to just hang out in this full stretch. 
let our breath calm back down <laughs> and really release that low back. So for some people, we might want to come over the ball and maybe even shake those legs a little bit. Other people, maybe they feel more comfortable having toes on the floor and hands on the floor. My biggest suggestion on this is be floopy. Really let your weight sink into the ball. Let that ball hold you. Nice big breath in. Nice big breath out. Then from there, nice and easy, especially if maybe you get a little bit lightheaded, come on to sit. That was awesome. That was amazing. Have the most wonderful day. Don't forget your cool down, and I'll see you next time.